Welcome back to Living Local. The Miss America organization is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. Young women from across the country vie for this prestigious title and thousands of dollars in scholarships. One woman from Illinois served as Miss America 1969, and we are talking with her today about her journey. So joining us here in studio today, we have former Miss America Judy Ford Nash. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. This is such a cool opportunity for, for me personally as somebody who's competed in the organization and I'm also from Illinois too. So I just think <laughs> it's so cool that you that you achieved this this title. Now take me back to the beginning of when you first started competing in pageants. Well I was really not a pageant person. I grew up a tomboy and uh, I worked at this pool as a lifeguard and when I was 16 I was approached by the manager of the local Super Value to be Miss Super Value in the Boone County Fair contest and it was something I'd never dreamt but you know my girlfriends and I thought it would be like a fun little lark so we did it and I won it <laughs> and you automatically then go um, to uh, the, the state fair queen contest and I won that so at back in the day if you didn't have a local Miss America preliminary in your area you could um, appoint someone to uh, represent your area in the Miss Illinois pageant and then you'd have to hold a pageant if you wanted to send someone the, ne the next year. So the local fair board president said, you know, I know you compete in trampoline and stuff, so you can do that for your talent. So we're going to appoint you Miss Boone County. And I went off to college, kind of forgot about it. The next summer I came back and went to the Miss Illinois pageant and um, in July, third week of July, and six weeks later, I was in Atlantic City to compete for Miss America. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, that's <laughs> such a quick turnaround. And not only did you win Miss Illinois, you won Miss America. What were you thinking when that moment happened? Well, it was funny when um, my goal when I went out there was to be in the top 10 because I wanted to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then once I was in the, uh, the top 10, I wanted to make sure that I, I was so afraid that something would happen to my talent because it was trampoline, mm -hmm. very unusual. And, you know, you do, when you're competing in trampoline, you do like a 10 bounce routine. And I had to stretch that into two minutes and 40 seconds. And I, because they didn't have it um, ever before, they didn't understand it so they didn't let me warm up they didn't let me have spotters and you know I was at the, when I was competing um, live on TV Saturday night I hadn't been on the trampoline since Thursday night when I competed so I was just hoping that all would go well and once that happened um, I kind of relaxed and um, after the top five um, I was the last one called for that and um, they uh, sat all of us there and we finished the, the question and then they went to commercial and I remember thinking this is great the worst I can do is fifth place and then oh. they came back and they announced the fourth runner-up and I said this is great the worst I can do is fourth place and I kept going and we got down to the last two and Miss Massachusetts and myself and I think that's the first time when I actually said there's an outside chance I could win this thing. <laughs> 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 but then they called her name, and I, w I was just, I was totally blown away. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, I, um, when I went out to Atlantic City, my state people even had said, you know, go out and have a good time, but you really don't have a chance. Because before you walk on stage, you have three strikes against you. One, you're only 18, and that's way too young to be Miss America. Second, you're a blonde, and a blonde hasn't won in 12 years. And third, your trampoline talent um, it could go either way because back in, in the late 60s, athletics for women was not thought of as a feminine endeavor. And they said it, it, it might be construed as a little too masculine. You know, Miss America is not supposed to sweat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think about how much it's changed now, too. Yes. And the organization is probably completely different than when you first competed. But what is it that you look back on and what, what are your fondest memories from the time? Well, the best memory, um, the highlight of my year was uh, we did an 18-day uh, uh, USO tour to South Vietnam, and it was myself and six of the other um, contestants, the, the state queens, and we had a show of, oh, 20 or 25 singing and dancing numbers that we performed all over the, the country from up by the DMZ to the Mekong Delta and we some of our shows were on the big stages like Bob Hope um, had and some of them were like on flatbed trailer trucks so it's it just depended and you know the guys were so appreciative of us coming and um, it was the one thing that I, I 
it was the most rewarding experience I've ever had. They, you know, really appreciated. And, you know, even 50 some years later, with the internet, I've had people uh, uh, who said, I, I was going through a drawer and I found this picture. And then they took the time to look me up and contact me and, and just to say, I want you to know how much you girls coming over there meant to us and, and how important that was for you to bring a little bit of home to us. Well, so incredible. that was very special. Absolutely. Now, what does life look like for you now? Well, I'm married. My husband and I raised a uh, blended family. Um, he had three three children. I had two boys, and they're all in their 40s now, and um, they have families of their own. We have um, 13 grandchildren and three step-great-grandchildren. So life is busy. I'm a retired teacher. I taught physical education in the Geneseo School District for um, 20 years and coached the girls' golf team. And um, now I'm just kind of enjoying my family and playing golf and pickleball and <laughs> having a good time. Enjoy your time off. Yes, right. absolutely. And you'll be, you will be a part of the uh, Miss America competition as well. Yes, I'm going out. To, uh, it's its 100th anniversary, and so... Um, I hope that uh, we'll have a big, um, a big turnout of, of former Miss Americas. You never know with, you know, being the week before Christmas, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know there's at least 20 of us going. Okay, well, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to come by today, and thank you so much for sharing your journey with oh, us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. For some more information about the Miss America organization, you can check out MissAmerica.org, and you can also find that information over on our website, too, at ourquadcities.com.